through smug.org. Your information technology answers are here. Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen Weinkoop, and welcome to another edition of Swag TV. Today we have Laura Rose back on the program talking about really great career tips. And today we're talking about what happens if your boss leaves the company. If all of a sudden you're left uh, sort of the next on the totem pole, uh, what do you do and what can you do to protect your position? So welcome back to the program, Laura. Thank you, Steve. It sure is great to have you here. Just as an aside, I know there's been a lot of talk on Facebook, and some of the most popular posts are your shows. Uh, so congratulations on that. It's, it's good stuff. It's really wonderful to hear. Thanks, Steve. So with, when somebody leaves, I, I know that when I'm talking to people and their boss is suddenly gone for whatever reason, um, that is one of the first things you think about is, oh, my gosh, you know, am I next? What should people do to kind of protect against that and, and plan for that type of thing? I think the best protection in your career is to allow other people to know about you. So don't just stay in your corner. Make sure other managers and second-line managers and departments know about your talents, your ambitions, and what you can uh, give to their department. Very true. So basically, uh, I guess some, one of the things that I've talked to people about is maybe that, that meetings and everything, provide status updates on the things that you're doing so there's more visibility into the things that you're involved with. And it's not necessarily to go around your manager, it's just to show the types of things that you're, you're working with. Is that the type of thing you're seeing too? Exactly. That your uh, perfect wording was visibility. And we can gain visibility across a very many avenues. You can do, uh, just like you said, do status reports and ask to do a status report on the second line manager's meetings, you can actually start off brown bag lunches series. And it doesn't mean that you have to be the expert on every one of those topics, but you can be the facilitator on those topics. You also want to uh, ask for a mentor, have a second line mentor. That's another way to get other people acknowledged and, and knowledgeable about you. You also want to uh, remember the global aspects of your company. Just don't let the people in your your site know you, but actually try to get other people in the global sites. You know, in the your company's naturally international. Make sure the global managers understand who you are by doing some uh, status reports, newsletters, things like that. Write articles on lessons learned that you've learned on different topics. You know, have them published in your newsletters, things like that. One of the things, uh, I was working at a, a large office products company, and uh, one of the things that, that we started was a, kind of a company knowledge intranet. And so we just started, and this was back before intranets were real, so really what it was is a repository for documents and stuff up on a server someplace. But we started to try and just write up what people were doing. And uh, one of the things I saw a really great success with was going around and interviewing different departments to find out what they're doing. And it's... It doesn't have to be a big deal, you know, it's a 10 minute interview and then you write something up and email a summary out to people and it sort of gets your name and their name out there. That's an excellent example and if you shoot for the interviewer to be, the interviewee to be an executive, high level second manager, that's even better, you know, right. versus just your coworker or a person of the, of the same level, you're interviewing a person of the same level, you want to shoot for a second or third line manager. Very that's true. The, that's an exceptional idea. The other thing, too, is make use of the webcam and do some video blogging so that people can actually see your face and they can see, you know, they can attach your name with your face as well. Great ideas. Great ideas. Really protect your image and protect your visibility and make sure people know you're out there and that you're doing more than just sort of the grunt work or the, the assigned tasks. You're much more a part of the company than that. Yeah. Your word was per perfect. Increase your visibility. Very good. Very good. Well, hey, thanks a lot for being on the show today. We certainly look forward to the next program and uh, your next advice and tips. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time, as they say. Thanks, guys.